So Brian wants to know, was it difficult releasing the handcuffs and did Ruby resist letting go of the gun? You saw the gun before he shot Oswald. Yes, I saw it uh, when I first, uh, when I stepped out, the camera lights come on and momentarily blinded me, but I was looking down and he had his had that gun in his hand and holding it by his side. And I, that is when I made my first move because I realized then that he was about to shoot Oswald and I tried to jerk him behind me. But when I, since he was right close to me, I couldn't move him much. If he'd have been at arm's length, I could have jerked him plumb off his feet. But uh, he was right close to me. So when I jerked back on him to pull him behind me, I, all I did was turn his body so that the, instead of the bullet hitting him dead center, it hit to the left of the navel. And uh, of course it went all the way through and lodged over here. It actually hit the end of the seventh rib and glanced off and lodged just down the skin here. And when I checked him, I could roll that bullet around underneath the skin just like that. And uh, so when I got him to Parkland Hospital, I went into the operating room with him and I told the doctors, I said, before you do anything else, I want that bullet out of him. And so he pinched it up and hit it with a scalpel. It popped out into a tray that a nurse was holding. And I immediately took my trusty pocket knife out that had a sharp point on it, and I told the nurse, I said, I want you to scratch your initial on the butt end of this while I watch it, because you and I will be testifying in court that this is a bullet to come out of it. Wow. And we did uh, several times, I did, on hearings. But... Uh, it's just one of those things that you can't help sometimes. That's good detective work there.